Hello, hello, everybody. So, welcome back. Uh, I got a little bit of work done between the last episode. Um, I experimented, mostly. Just trying to trying to learn the game, trying to learn the mechanics, the building. Um, as you can see, the workbench is now outside, and we have a chopping block. Yeah, I, I did that. I will actually show you how I did that right now. So if you open up your hammer tool and you go to crafting, it's right there. It takes 10 wood, 10 flint, and has to be by workbench. And uh, what the chopping block does is you can see it's got a little star right there. It's uh, workbench improvement. So what that means is if we come up to the workbench here, we get access to more stuff. Yeah, we have access to things today, so there's a lot to do today. Um, I also managed to get a hold of some fine wood. Uh, I will show you guys how I did that. Um, it's a little tricky and takes a little bit of finesse to figure out, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's a, it's a long, drawn-out process. <laughs> That's what it was. Um, I also have a bone fragment. Uh, while I was out... McGandering. Uh, I was over there. Yeah, there's a building over there on the ground somewhere. And I saw what looked like a like a player. Oh, right there, right over there. There's a building right over there. You can kind of see it right there next to that rock in the distance. Um, I saw what I thought was a player. It ran up and it killed a boar and then it ran back into the woods and I'm like, I'm playing solo offline. There shouldn't be anybody here. So, you know, I pull out my trusty dusty little club beater. And I ran over there. It was an undead skeleton. There are skeletons in these woods. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was already mostly dead. Apparently he had been fighting for a while. And I just never noticed him. But yeah, he was right over there by those little ruins. Remember when I picked up those stones and I said, Oh, this looks like a burial site. And I was like, I'm just going to borrow these stones. Yeah, I think I ticked off the skeletons. They want revenge. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of work done on the starter house. Uh, as you can see. Looking nice, isn't it? So what I did is put a little fences up just to kind of help, you know, mitigate the damage if something should attack us. And kind of funnel it. Uh, I built a little storage place for all of my wood. Uh, yeah, you can see I've been a little busy. Uh, I got about 200 wood right there. Now, I learned a little trick today. Okay, maybe it's not a trick. Um, so, hello, bird. <laughs> Just fly by me, why don't you? Um, so, these stacks of wood and these stacks of stone, they actually take damage from the weather when not under shelter. Yeah, so like rain and thunderstorms, they actually take damage, and then over time you lose the amount of resources that you put into it so you don't get 50 back so if they take like you know 20 percent damage you may only get like 35 or 37 back or some random number i don't know the actual math behind it i'm just guessing but yeah so you always like if you're gonna build up a bunch of uh, resources and save them build like a little warehouse for it that way they don't take damage from the elements uh another trick i learned is yeah you notice these are stacking they're not actually stacking. You can clip these top ones to the wall behind it. Or to even this wall. Here, let me see if I can actually do it. I don't think I have the resources on me to show you again. But let's say, okay, I got this right here. Whoop, yeah, see how it just clipped there a second ago? I don't have the wood to do this. But let's say that, you know, I want to stick that there. It can kind of merge in there a little bit so it gets a little wiggle room. But then you want to stick it on top of this stack as well. Watch this. See the little thing? It's clipping to the ceiling. So in te so basically, if you wanted to, you could stick like two of them right below this one. And then just clip this to the ceiling right in that back corner. And it would give the illusion that it's sitting on top of it. But it's actually clipped to the ceiling. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They don't clip to each other because they don't have the support. Because you see how that log back there is green? But the second you try to clip this to it, this one turns red. It's going to destroy itself the second you place it. So, yeah. You can place down a couple of here. You can put, like, one right here. And then you can put, like, one right there. And then you can just clip one, like, right 
like right, uh, if it lets me, there we go, like right there, and it will look like it's sitting on top of them. So you can actually get 150 wood in that little spot there, or even more if you wanted to. I mean, you could try to snap one to this as well, and it just looked a little weird then. But uh, yeah, if you want to, heck, you could snap it there too. Have the wood just hanging off the top. <laughs> So that was cool. I found that out today. Um, when I got the f the wood from the uh, the, the tree today, um, I got some aesthetic stuff. I got chairs, more benches, tables, and a banner. Yeah, we got that when we got fine wood. So that was pretty cool. So little tour. So that's my little storeroom for all my stuff. This is kind of a like a little stable area. I don't know. I figured, you know, eventually we might have animals or something. So cool. Uh, this is my workshop. Uh, I got my workbench and we have my chopping block. So I can don't have to worry about running inside. I can just come up here, repair my stuff. Bing, 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 bing. And then go. I don't have to go inside. Awesome. Uh, I kind of added a little fence like right around here and there because I kept falling off. Um, and it also makes it easier for if something's coming from that side, they're forced to either attack the fence or run all the way around, giving me enough time to catch them. Uh, and then I added a little smoke chimney right here to help funnel, see, like this guy. See how he's, he's running all the way around the house, I think. I think he is. Yeah, he's just going to run all the way around the house. Now, I know I've been calling these things goblins, but I honestly think they're little trees. They look like tree people. Like, in the dark, when I couldn't see them, they look like little tree people. But now, I'm thinking they might actually be... Or, they look like little goblins, but I'm thinking now they might actually be little tree people. Okay, so another thing I learned today. This is cool. Alright, so you see the direction I'm going? Now, you notice how you can see, like, the little whisper winds? Yeah, that's the direction the wind is blowing. So if I was to sneak, I would be going in the direction, opposite direction of the wind, which means my scent would be beginning blown that way. This mechanic exists. Hunters, you can be a true hunter now. So I'm just gonna stand up to get my stuff back. And there's actually a sneak skill. See, now watch this. Now I'm gonna look at that deer. Uh-oh. Never mind. Okay, play that order. Protect the homestead. So yeah, this happened to me once already while I was uh, just messing around. Um, apparently you can get assaulted by animals. So I guess the, the, the current icon or creature of this area um, will rally the creatures of the area against you. Yeah. So you see how there's a little red exclamation mark on my minimap right now? Right around this house? Yeah. Does anybody want to say Conan? Yeah. My my little hut is being assaulted by boars and necks right now. And I'm not going to pass up free hide and meat. You know, right? Oh, here comes a board. You coming or are you running? Creatures are calming down. Oh, and Hugin, or should I say Hugo? Ah, uh, you have been invaded. Monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength of arms does not guarantee your victory pretty sure that's supposed to be your not you your victory in these situations build a strong defense to weather out the storm now my personal gamer experience we have a storm coming in speaking of storms you called a storm 
Bad Hugen. Um. Oh wait, am I actually near the fire when I do that? I am. Ooh, cool. Um, let's go up by the fire here real quick. Might as well cook up the meat we got. Doesn't hurt, right? Warm ourselves up. Cook up this meat. So, um, what that tells me is that there are going to be sieges that you're not going to be able to fight off by yourself. Even playing solo. You're going to have to rely on defenses to just hold out long enough for the sieges to end. Which kind of sounds cool in a way. Now, we didn't get as much meat as I thought we would have, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's free food. If the food wants to come to me, by all means, let it come. I'll eat it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty cool. That's the second time that's happened. It happened to me while I was um, just messing around doing some building uh, a little bit ago. So, yep. Fair warning, it happens. But I think today's goal is uh, I want to find... So this this episode and next episode are going to be a two-part episode. Uh, this episode's going to be slightly upgrading our gear a little bit. You know, trying to get ourselves um, some a little bit of better gear. Um, I also want to... Look for a new place to settle down a little bit more permanent with a little bit more space. Uh, I want to up get some tools made, upgrade some, you know, get some better equipment, get some better tools. And then uh, the second part is going to be building our new homestead house, our new long house, our Viking meat hall, or whatever we want to call it. Because we don't know what it's going to be. Our village. We could be just a village. We don't have to build a big ass Viking meat hall. Not that that wouldn't be cool or not, but if we're playing solo, we don't need to have a massive meat hall. Now, you don't feel rested anymore. How sad. Now, there is a way around this, actually. Watch this. So, you know how you can only sleep during the night? Another little trick I learned. If you walk up and press X and just sit inside your house for a couple of seconds, now you're already getting the comfort from resting in shelter and you got the fire behind you just outside. Now watch this. This is cool. Give it a couple of seconds here. Should pop up. Top right corner. And there it is. You feel rested. Ta-da! Now we don't have to... Uh, now, I don't know if we actually have to sit for that. I think you can just stand inside. But you get that uh, the little rested buff for 11 minutes. Um, so you don't actually have to sleep to get it. You can actually just, you know, get it. Now, we can't sleep through this storm, unfortunately. I'm not... I'll probably wait this out. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go. We'll be fine. We gotta, we gotta look at what we need anyways. So let's walk over to our Hushti Jushti workbench. So we have a couple of things here that we can make. We can make uh, the crude bow. We can make a hoe. Uh, we can also make a wooded shield, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, we can make a flint axe, which would be definite definite upgrade from the stone axe. Yeah. Um... We can also make a flint spear. So I'm seeing a running pattern. We're going to need a lot of flint. <laughs> and we're going to need a lot of flint if we ever want to make flint arrowheads too. All right. And then we got fire arrows, torch, tower shield, wooden arrows. And I already made the rag pants. Um, I already have it. Um, let's repair this. Now, let's see. Upgrades. Now, I could upgrade my gear, but I really don't see the point. Upgrading the stone axe to the next tier. We can actually just do that. It's cheap. It's two stones. It uh, it upgrades it to 20 slash damage. Yeah, it upgrades it to 20 slash damage. Uh, up extra five points on parry force. Uh, backstab is still the same. Yep, still the same. Uh, durability goes up by an additional 30 cool yeah why not right so let's upgrade our stone axe to tier two there we go more damage you can't beat that uh on the wooden club so unfortunately we need five bone fragments for that that's not happening 
Um, let's see here. Actually, let's put you there. You know what? Wait, how much damage does this do? Blunt damage, 12. You know, I'd almost just be willing to use the axe over the club. We'll just put the club over here with the hammer for now. Uh, we can upgrade the hammer. One stone and one wood. I don't know what that really does. Oh, it gives us an additional... It gives us 100 more durability. Sure, why not? More durability? Never hurt. Awesome. Now we have a, two, a tier 2 hammer that won't break on us easily. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do this. Uh, it takes five of each of these to upgrade them. And really, all it does is give us an additional 150 durability. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to upgrade the rag stuff, because I have a feeling we might be swapping that out soon. So... Yeah. Well, that's good enough for now. Um, let's see. Crafting. Uh, the crude bow. So, we actually have the wood. We have just enough wood. Uh, and we have the leather. We have the leather. So, let's make that. Craft. Get ourselves a bow and arrow. Awesome. Me always lack of my bows. Alright, let's put that there. Um, what do we need to upgrade said bow? We need one deer hide and more wood. I think that's accomplishable. I don't really see that being an issue. Uh, the next thing I want to do, which is... I probably should have just not upgraded that and just got the flint one. I have a feeling that we probably should have just went straight for the flint one. Huh. Alright, so what do we need for wooden arrows? We need more wood. Alright, so let's go out and get some wood real quick. Now, yes, I know I've got a ton of wood sitting in that little thing right there. But we're not gonna we're not gonna get this wood. Now, let's double check. Let's see if I'm still correct on my theory. Yeah, no damage. We're in a rainstorm outside, and there's no damage on any of this. Because it's under shelter. So yeah, build shelter to store your resources, your piles. Yeah. Yep, that's a thing. Alright, sweet. All right, let's go over here. Kind of where I've been clearing out all the trees here and stuff. Now, the wind's blowing from that way, right? No, the wind's coming from that way. Yeah, the wind's coming from that direction. So it is blowing that way. I was right. <laughs> so let's crouch. All right, now, see how the white bar goes down? That is uh, how how much it sees you. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? And you see how there's a little eyeball above it now? It means it sees me. Oh, okay. That is really weird. I don't know how I missed. I, I was sure I was right on its butt. Oh, we got a friend down here. Yeah, those are definitely trees. They're not they're not goblins. They're they're tree people. They're little trees. Alright, let's cut down this tree right here. Oop, if I can. Oh, wow, we do so much more damage. Oh, shh. I died. <laughs> How did that fall on me? <laughs> well, that's a thing. <laughs> I honestly don't know how that fell on me. I thought I was out of that. I honestly wasn't expecting the tree to chop down in two hits. Alright, let's go grab our stuff. Oh, hello, Hugo. Our first death. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish, you if if you wish you were home by now, 
I'd recommend building a bed whatever home may be. Wherever home may be. Huh. Really weird wording, but okay. The wind's blowing that way, so let me go over here. Got it. Oh, we beat the crap out of that deer with our fists. Would you look at that? See? Use the wind to your advantage. Nice. All right, let's grab our stuff. Looks like another tree had gotten destroyed. Oh, I did get my stuff. Okay. Uh, we have to re-equip our gear. There we go. Alright, the rain stopped. Cut down these trees real fast. I uh, probably should go stand over here, because... Yeah. Can we push it? Can. Got a stump. So yeah, definitely increasing the damage of your tools allows you to cut player cut much quicker. I mean that would be expected, but you, you know. Now we know for sure. Now we're a hundred percent sure that's what it does because it's taking way less hits now. Awesome, sweet. Let's grab that stone. Okay, let's head back up real quick. Um, is my torch still broken from earlier? Oh, I don't think we can repair torches. Oh, I scared it. Uh, I wasn't going to make a difference. I think the wind's blowing this way, so he would have seen us. All right. But yeah, we got our deer hide. So it worked out in the end. <laughs> let's go uh, over here real quick. Cook up these real fast. Eat those two real quick. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got a Neko tail and a piece of steak. Or venison. Or is it pork? I don't know. They all look the same. I wouldn't call it a steak. It's either pork or venison. And uh, Neko is lizard. Yeah, we're eating lizards. <laughs> All right. Um, let me go over here. Here we go. Okay, use, and we're going to repair. Awesome, repaired. Uh, let's make a new torch. No, we have a torch. It's in our box inside. What am I doing? Uh, let's make, uh, I'd say, let's make 40 arrows. I think 40 arrows should be enough for now. I don't plan on doing anything crazy. Uh, we also need to make a hoe, so let's do that. Let's just get that out of the way. Perfect. Yeah, we got a hoe. Awesome. Uh, and that lets us do some more cool stuff. All right, so we have the bow now. What do we need to upgrade the bow? We need one. We have everything we need to upgrade the bow. It doesn't upgrade it by a whole lot of damage. What about the hoe? What do we need for that? That's just durability, but you know what? We'll do it anyways. And we'll do that, too. We'll get that up to level 2 as well. Awesome. Sweet. Alright, let's go inside and sleep for the rest of the night.
Sweet. All right, we're rested. We got our bow now. Oh, hello. What do you have to say to us? Uh, you have crafted a hoe. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on leveled ground. Now that is cool, because I was under the impression this was for farming, but if this allows us to do that, then I'm going to do this real quick. Hold up. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <gasps> yep, that destroyed that. That's a thing. Now, wait a minute. There was... Oh, paths. Ooh, perfect. This is exactly what we want. Because paths don't level the ground. It just kind of gets rid of the grass, I think. That's how that works. That's what we wanted. That's probably what I should have done instead of leveling the ground. Ah, uh, yeah. Because when I leveled the ground, I kind of messed all that up. Okay. Yeah, so the path allows you to just clear the grass to make a path. Pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So you kind of have a little dirt road. Ice. I don't think we can do paths outside of. <gasps> Wait a minute. We can make paths even if we don't have a workbench in that area. <gasps> oh, that's cool. So getting rid of grass to make paths doesn't require the workbench. Okay. All right, that's cool. All right, let's get rid of some of this. Awesome. Let's see here. Oh, we're out of stamina. Yeah, we're just making a little dirt path down to the river down here. Just clearing out all the shrubbery. Oh, we got a friend. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Stay away. Grab that flint. We're going to need it. Well, that's cool. All right, so basically, if you want to make a path, you don't have to worry about destroying your terrain to do so. Now, there was another option on this thing. Um, raise ground. All right, let me see if I can fix what I derped over here. Let's see what this does. There we go. Okay, that costs five... Oh, wow, that costs four stone to do. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, if I want to fix that over there, I'm going to need more stone. Let's go see if we can get some more stone. Then after we're done screwing around with this, uh, we are going to go out and see if we can find ourselves a spot. Now, I'm not going to run to every single spot and show every single spot. Um, I'll cut out probably the ones that I feel that really aren't really worth showing. Oh, we got raspberries here. Ooh, yeah, there we go. We needed some raspberries. Now we have all three food groups. <laughs> some dandelions. Getting distracted here by goodies. We got some deer over here. What direction is the wind coming from over there? So if I want to kill those deer, I should probably go from over here and across. But I'm not going to mess with them right now. I just need a couple more stone. That way we can fix our little terrain. Oh, hello. 
Mushrooms! Hey, look at that. Found some mushrooms. Snag those. Oh, hello. I didn't see this earlier. Oh, we haven't been over here yet. Okay, well, I guess we're already starting our exploration. It's in here. A box? Just a box? What do we got? Oh, well, we got a new torch. And some feathers. Take it. Thank you. Well, we kind of been over here before. There's that toilet slash... Well. <laughs> I don't even know what to actually refer to it as. All right, so now I'm understanding how to tell the uh, the bushes apart. The the greener, fresh ones are the ones that had the berries. The darker green ones are the ones without the berries. Got it. Some more flint. We're getting a little low on flint. Especially if we want to start making flint arrows, we're going to need it. Oh, hello. This is a pretty big stone circle right here. I wonder. Okay, so now anybody who understands North mythology as well as North history knows that stone circles aren't just there for show. They have significant value. Like, they have a reason for being here. And one thing that I know is that sometimes they were used to bury stuff. Not sure if we're gonna find anything doing this, but we're definitely gonna give it a good shot. Alright, hold on. I don't know if this is actually digging. Oh, yeah, it's digging. Okay. So far, nothing. It's a branch or something here. No. found something. I'm not crazy. See? <laughs> Where did it go? Hold up. I think I reburied it or dropped back. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's back it up. Alright, let's put the hoe away. We found buried treasure. <gasps> we found a ruby? Oh, and what is this? A silver necklace. Holy smokes. See? See? Check your stone circles. Don't build on them. Or at least check them first before you build on them. Yeah, we found buried treasure. That's what I'm talking about. Now, can I destroy this now? I can repair it. There we go. Not sure if that does anything, but hey. So yeah, awesome. Uh, thank you for your treasure. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So let's see. Now I want to build near the lake or river or something. So that's going to be my primary goal in looking for a spot to build. Now I actually want to check that burial ground over here. Oh, let's be here. Now we got the stones here last time. Okay. What happens when I destroy this stuff? Because this looks like a tree. 
this one does. The rest of these look like, I mean, they all look like trees, obviously, but this one looks more tree-ish and less blocky. Oh, whatever it is, it's made out of some sturdy stuff. Oh, hello, oh, hello, hello. We just found new wood. Um, hmm. Can I, can I see what we got? Hold up. Uh, all right, so what did we get? Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, this was from the deer hide. Tanning rack. Improve, okay, so now we can improve our workbench even more. Building pieces. Ooh, yes, we have some new stuff. Uh, we have log beams. Okay. Oh, so we had now have like log beams instead of whatever the heck the rest of the thing was. What is this? Oh, we have spikes. <gasps> we can make a spike wall to keep out the little creatures of the night. Yep. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to play with that. So it looks like we just got a couple of new log support stuff. But I definitely saw a few other things pop up. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go to the workbench for that. Let me finish, because if that piece of wood... Hold on, let's open up our inventory. Was this. The core wood. Each one of these beams must be core wood. So let me destroy this other... Let me destroy these other ones. I'm going to cut this part out, because it's just going to be redundant. And we just got more, but okay. I'm just going to destroy all this. I'll cut it all out, and then... We'll, We'll come back when I'm back at the base so we can see what we got. All right, guys? All right, I'm going to take off here. Okay, and we're back. All right, so uh, I went for a little swim. <laughs> it took me a little bit of time to get back. It's actually been about 15 minutes. Um, I got some more deer hides, which I don't know why it's up here. Oh, because my inventory is full. Um, I found fish. There was fish down there. Killed a boar and some stuff and got some more fish meat. So... Um, after destroying all four of those, or pillars, or whatever, uh, we actually got six. So it seems that beam that was going across the top, not just the side supports, was also one of the logs. So we got six total. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to come over here real quick and throw some of this on the Barbie. And we got two more hide. Uh, from a deer because there was a deer on the river and I was downwind so I took that opportunity to kill another deer So yeah, we did that <laughs> And I farmed a little bit of wood on the way back. So I've been a little busy Let's wait on this meat Awesome, all right, so let's go over here and let's see what we have now. What do we have? Um, crafting. Well, we can now make leather tunic and leather pants. Definitely going to want to do that. Uh, we, ooh, we can make a fine bow. Oh, wow. So that takes 10 fine wood and 10 of the core wood. Okay, we can make a deer hide cape. Interesting, but we're going to need more bone. Uh, we can make a leather helmet. We can make... Is that a hammer? The Stag Berserker. So it takes five deer trophies, 20 core wood, and two scrap leather. It does 20 blunt damage and five pierce damage. Interesting. Knockback is 150, but minus 20 to movement speed. That's another thing, too. Okay, okay. So we have some things here. I definitely want to make this flint axe and upgrade to that. I have a feeling it's going to be better, maybe, in the long run. Um, but yeah, I've got some stuff. We have a lot of crap. The sun is going down, it looks like. Um, I didn't get to looking around for a new base location, because we got distracted a lot. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably just going to do that in the next one, because this is... Uh, I'm, I'm getting distracted by candy everywhere. There's... There's stuff like this bird right here. He's just like, shoot me. Never mind. Yep, that would be epic. Is that going to come back down? Oh, it is. Wait, is it? 
Oh, it is. Look, it's right there. See it? Holy crap. That actually came all the way back down. Where did that land? Did that land on the roof or on the ground? Okay, that was cool. Yep. Oh, aww. Anyways, guys. <laughs> we'll get around to looking for a place in the next one. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, downvote it. I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. And hopefully we can actually find a base and start to building. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Take care, guys. Peace out.